Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to talk about shared mailbox. So, shared mailbox is is actually a functionality, as you can see here in this article, that it uh, enables multiple people to access a mailbox uh, and to receive uh, or send uh, all kinds of uh, documents. Now. Um, the big question is always, uh, should we have a shared mailbox or should we have a Microsoft 365 group? Each one has its pros and cons. Uh, in general, this is only uh, meant for a mail. Uh, Office 365, uh, you get the SharePoint and you can get a Microsoft Teams and a group uh, mailbox and also Planner and uh, all of those. But in these cases, uh, this does does not uh, need uh, to have a license. And uh, this is why I want to show you. I didn't know how to do it, but I learned, and this is what I want to share. So in this article, actually, we also have here how to create a mailbox. So uh, I will follow according to this. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can write in the comments. Uh, let's go directly to my test tenant. So, uh, of course, I need to have uh, permissions in the admin. I'm currently a global admin. And what we will see here is actually under Teams and Groups, we have Share Mailbox. Now, I'll click on Share Mailbox. You see I have two mailbox already created. It creates uh, a name. Uh, so, we'll click on Share Mailbox. In the name, actually, I will give the name. So let's call it uh, Demo365. Uh, and we could give also a different email. We can choose the domain. All we need to do is save changes. Now it will create it and guide us what to do next. So we, if we click here on Add Members, we can choose what are the people that will have uh, access as members? So I could add Alex, I could add myself, and let's add, uh, that's it. So currently these two users are added. And you see, we can go on, if we click now on this uh, mailbox, we can see that actually it added, um, read and, uh, and manage permissions here and send permissions it also added and if we also want to uh, the possibility to send on behalf then we can also add this so let's add uh, Alex and myself okay now in the article, it also says it's recommended to block login uh, or sign in with this uh, account because it's not meant, it's not a re regular account. It doesn't create a 365. Uh, you don't need to pay any license. Um, so what we need to do is to go to the users and we will go to active users. Now we will search for uh, the user demo 365 and what we can do here you see here block sign in this actually will prevent people to to or the need to to log in because so i click this and i get a message uh you won't stop uh, getting mail and doesn't uh, delete any data blocking something prevents anyone from signing in so it's a good idea let's do that and now it's saved. So once the crea the account is or mailbox is, by the way, if we go here, you see sign in is blocked. So once we assigned uh, the people that are can be using the mailbox, then actually what we can do is go to the Outlook. I'm currently showing it on the web but uh, it should work also in the desktop. So in order to add it, I will go to my profile. I'll click on this 
and then I have open another mailbox. So here actually I can uh, put my new mailbox. It was demo 365. And uh, now you see actually that uh, I have a new mailbox where I can uh, send and receive. Now, um, I found out that actually in the desktop it's possible to see them both. Here, uh, each time you need to go through uh, this profile, which is not uh, that uh, nice. But let's do a test. So actually, I will now create a new mail and I will send it to demo365. Let's call the message test, test. And I will send it. And my expectation is that the mail will be received. Yes, I received it. Um, we can test it with a different user. I will go to Alex. This is Alex and I will go to his profile and open another mailbox and let's call this demo 65. It doesn't find it. Let's put the, the full uh, mailbox on microsoft.com. Here we go. Something doesn't work. Uh, let's try again. Uh, let's look at the settings actually. Just a second. Here we go. So this is the admin. This is active users. And we will go to share mailbox. Maybe it takes time until um, Read and manage Alex. Yeah, he has. So let's go to this user and uh, let's open. No, we didn't want to delve. My mistake. We will go here and go to the outlet and open another mailbox and we will choose demo 365 demo 365 okay now it's worked so uh, let's try uh, also to send from this mailbox. Um, so I'm in the mailbox of uh, the shared mailbox and actually um, I can send it to, let's send it to myself even. Uh, test from shared mailbox. And let's send it. And now we should, yes, we just received it. So everything's working uh, as expected. And uh, this is a great way to do it. Um, as I said, in, in the desktop uh, outlook, you, you would see um, the mail, shared mailbox here, and then you could use it. So uh, this was what I wanted to share with you and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.